guys, how's it going? Rick here from Most Valuable Podcast, here to give you my 2016 season preview for the USC Trojans, and going to look at the offense, the defense, some of the schedule in this one. I'm going to start with the offense. The big thing for the Trojans this year, you got a new quarterback. Cody Kessler's gone. Max Brown, the junior, is now stepping in, and it's going to be, it's one of those things where it's USC fans, you're probably sitting there waiting, when are we going to see a quarterback bring us back to title games and to championships. You've got Coach Helton in his first year of this kind of of his head coaching year at the USC. And Brown's the guy they're gonna go with, the junior. And I think that the biggest thing for him that's going to help him is that he's got a guy like Juju Smith on the outside for him. That's huge. Having a guy that he can say, you know what? That's my guy on the outside. Whenever I'm in a bind, I can go to him. I think Juju, he's going to be a top, he's going to be a top five pick in the draft this year. If he's not top five, definitely top ten. But I think he could be good enough to be top five. You also got a big rock in the offensive line in Zach Banner, going to be blocking for Brown. So the offense is definitely going to carry this team. And the reason why I say that is the defense is going to be rough. And the main reason why is yeah, you bring back Pac-12 Defensive Freshman of the Year in Cameron Smith, but I look at that front line for you guys, man, is it raw. You got a ton of new guys coming in, a ton of guys that need to be coached up, and the comparison I'm, I, I kind of want to make with this team is it's kind of like Coach Helton has a similar situation that he could do that Jim Harbaugh did last year with Michigan. Last year, was there a ton of hype around Michigan? Yeah, because of Jim Harbaugh. But if you look at the team on paper, they were coming off of the Brady Hoke years, which were not that good. They were abysmal. So, I mean, last season did some good things with a team where it's like, wow, he did good things with that. Now they're in a position to do great things with the recruiting that Jim Harbaugh had. Helton has the same situation because this team, and I know the last time me and Brandon talked about it, you USC fans in the comment section love to bring up those sanctions that you had from the Pete Carroll days that you say crippled your your franchise or your team. This is going to be your opportunity to get out of that. If Helton can do a good enough job with the team that he has in place this year, that can set up recruiting because, let's be honest, whenever the USC is good, the Pac-12 is relevant, and most recruits, to me— are going to pick Southern Cal over Oregon, Washington, UCLA, Cal. So you guys got to do better to get those recruits actually in the door because it's winning football games that does that. So if he can do that, he can set his team up, Helton that is, set this team up to be the Michigan of the Pac-12 in the sense that you're getting recruits to make next year even better than this one. But I see you guys as possible I think you guys will win your division, your toughest game, and I love that you guys scheduled it. Game one against Alabama, neutral site. Do I got you guys losing that game? You're damn well I do. But I commend you guys for putting that on the schedule, actually going out and playing in Alabama. You guys got some tough games. You got to play Washington, UCLA, and Stanford all on the road. All on the road. However, you've got winnable games over Oregon, Arizona, Colorado, if you can beat up on those guys, steal some wins against those tough road games. Then you got the big one, the Bush Push matchup of Notre Dame and USC. It's a tough schedule, but I think you guys can get through it. I think you guys will win your division and go on to the Pac-12 title game. But that's going to do it for my preview of the USC Trojans. Let me know down below what you guys think. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out our social media is right up there. The best one, patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Just another way for you guys to support the channel other than hitting that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And as always, have a good day, everybody.